Hey, I'm Kai Down, and this is The Bad Machine by Life is Unfair Audio. This is a collaborative effort between Life is Unfair and Mike Cuniff of the band Boston Manor. So I've already done a full run through of this pedal, going through each of the features in detail. However, I've been so enamored with it that I'd love to do a second video, just going through some tones through different guitars and different amps. We're gonna first hear it in the context of a full mix. With that, let's dive into some tones. The first amp we're gonna go through is the Amped VX30 plugin. This is based on a classic British chimey combo. Let's first hear my dry tone. I'm not gonna call this clean because these amps don't really go super clean. Now we'll engage the pedal. Now using that same sound, we're going to engage the boost side of the circuit. So sometimes it can be cool to run a reverb and delay into the front end of a fuzz pedal. So let's try that one out and see what we can come up with. Now I'm gonna go for a very classic sounding dad rock lead. So we're gonna turn off everything on my pedal board and we're gonna turn on the reverb and delay in the amp plugin instead, so that we've got it after the amp like a you know normal reverb and delay should be. So I think the upper octave harmonics actually work really nicely with this. It almost gives you that like Octavia sound that you'd get with some Hendrix stuff. And I can't believe I mentioned Hendrix in a video about what is essentially an HM2 plus the Behringer Super Fuzz. Now taking the tuning down almost a whole octave, I'm gonna switch over to my Balaguer Growler, which is set up in drop E, and we're gonna run through Amped Block Letter, which is based on a PV5150. This is where this starts to get extremely messy and distorted and fuzzy and perfect for hardcore. Let's hear it. Okay, let's first hear my dry tone. Now 
Now we'll kick on the bad machine. So I apologize, that was quite noisy. I haven't got a four cable method gate set up just yet, but hopefully that won't be too long until I can get that sorted. Still though, that should have given you a good insight into just how disgustingly filthy this pedal can get into a high gain amp. It's now time to back things off just a touch and we'll try out the PRS S2 into amped ML800. This is gonna be your classic British stack sound. Oh, let's first hear my dry tone. Now let's hear what it sounds like with the Life is Unfair Bad Machine. All right, now let's go for something a little bit doomier, a little bit sludgier, and maybe even heavier. And we're gonna stick with the fuzz mode one, which is actually the sort of boosty thing that we used right at the start when we were going for that low gain thing, but we're gonna boost it pretty heavily with the boost side of the pedal. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a full re-review of the pedal or anything because I did all of that in the first video, so go check that one out if you want to hear my thoughts on the matter. However, I will just give a quick summary and say I am still absolutely loving it. It's still hard to tame and hard to dial in, but when you get it just right, it's so thick, so heavy, and so just buzzy, gnarly, and aggressive as hell. I'm not sure how long this video is gonna turn out, but I hope I kept it short at least. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a like, a comment, and a subscribe. It goes a long way towards helping me out. That's all I've got for this video. Until next time.